A look at our cactus patch after the rain. We actually have more cactus along the back of one of our uh, galleries and then more on the south slope as well. So um, if they're in well-draining soil, you can grow cactus right out in the open, even this far north. But the key is drainage. So a lot of these cactus are extremely cold tolerant. I mean, look up hardy cactus and you'll be surprised just how, how much cold these things can handle. So uh, there's different types of opuntia in here. Um, there's some agaves. There's, uh, that's Opuntia and Bricata. And um, just a mixed mash of all different types of cactuses, chili and bromeliads in here as well. And uh, more agave there, agave here, some little agave americana there, bigger americana there, agave americana. And there's dickia, which are much happier now that we've had some rain. We had, so we had 1.45 inches of rain here. Um, and it's... It's helping. I was actually watering some of these cactus. This is a piece that broke off and I threw it there in the summertime and it's totally rooted. So that's how to propagate these things. Just throw a pad down on the ground and they will root. But uh, make sure you have them in full sun. And if you don't have good draining soil, you can create a raised bed. Great microclimates are uh, utilize your uh, overhang of your house if it's on a south wall or west wall and you get a lot of sun and heat there. Hey, good spot for cactus patch. There's a lot of amazing cactus gardens on Salt Spring Island. Ours is not amazing, but we do have a lot of cactus growing in it. I've seen a lot better than this, but there they are. I've been growing cactus for a long time. I grew it at my last location on the mainland, but I did actually have it in raised beds there. All right, guys, so try some of that. It, it will flower. There's some ice plants in there. And uh, it's, uh, it's fun to see on a, on a hot summer day or even a cold winter day because, like I say, the cold does not bother it whatsoever. I mean, there's cactus native to really cold climates. Uh, Alberta, there's cactus. And up in our Okanagan uh, of interior British Columbia, there's lots of cactus native there, the smaller kind of prickly pears, right? And we actually have native cactus here on the southern Gulf Islands. It's the smaller prickly stuff. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos here and uh, try some cactus in your own garden. But make sure you get the right cactus that will work in your climate. And drainage, that's the key. Cheers.